Hey everybody, it's Captain Cody with All Out Fishing Charters again. We've got some mangrove snapper here and we're going to show you a little bit about how I go about cooking and how I like to cook my fish. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get this caught on camera with catching them because it was kind of a quick last minute type thing and uh, I didn't have anybody there to run the camera. So anyway, let's get into it and I'll show you how to fillet them. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, take your snapper. Have a good sharp knife. I like using a kitchen knife when I'm at home, but you can come right in behind the gill plate, make a cut all the way through. And then I start right in here behind these. And you'll run those bones coming off his backbone. You can feel them. Go down to his tail. And you'll go all the way through, run the spine, come back up, run the knife across the spine, and then you'll feel the rib bones in there. Just like this. And you go up over the ribs. And I'm left-handed, so I know this looks weird. But that's how you get the filet off. And then, once you get it off like this, see, no bones. Only thing you have is a minor few fin bones in it, but you'll pinch the tail. And you'll go right against the skin. Ooh, this is slick. Just like that, and there you go. You have a perfectly good fillet. And these are the fin bones I was telling you about. So all you'll want to do, make a cut right inside the fillet, right through there. Just a few little bones. V it out, and that one's ready to eat and ready to go in the pan. So I'm gonna knock the rest of these out, and we'll be back to you when we get ready to put them in the pan, and season them up. Now we got them all filleted. All I done was uh, wash them off in the sink, made sure you get all the scales off of them, all the uh, bones, you know, just fill in between there. They got pin bones down the middle and stuff. But uh, dry them off with a paper towel, that way your seasons will stick. All we're gonna do is take a Lowry's lemon pepper, sprinkle a bunch of that on. Not too much, because you still wanna taste the fish. You don't wanna be eating seasoning. And I like to just kind of pat it down, make sure it's good and sticks. And just some standard garlic salt. Just a little bit of garlic flavor, not much. There we go. Just like that. And then right here, I have a cast iron skillet and all we done was melted about half a stick of butter in the bottom of it and heated the pan up to 300 degrees and got the butter good and melted. You're just gonna take the fillets and you're just gonna lay them inside the butter. Just like this. And this is mangrove snapper. Uh, this is more of a bay species for us. Uh, sometimes we do catch bigger ones offshore, but uh, a lot of the inshore guys, they go out and catch these. So if you want this in particular, that's usually your best bet. But again, we occasionally get them offshore and you don't have to have mangrove snapper to cook this. This is good with just about any fish out there. You can use this recipe. And then once you get them all laid in there, just like that, just give them some room so the butter gets melted good around them. And if you'll follow me around this way, we're gonna put it in the oven. Again, just set your oven to 300 degrees. And all you're gonna do, 
set it in there on the top rack and you're gonna let it go real slow and cook for about 20-25 minutes. Okay, fish has been in here for about 20 to 25 minutes. All the fillets are good and flaky. And that's what they look like. And to be honest with you, I wish y'all could smell it. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mashed potatoes here. Get Haven's plate. And you're gonna take a, just a big thing of mashed potatoes. Just a little bit more. And you just kind of mash them down a little bit. About like that. That does smell good. And just, I like to put a little parsley flakes on the mashed potatoes. Plus it makes it kind of look good. Uh, and then, gonna fork up the filet. Make one. Ooh. Hot. Two. Whoop, it's literally coming apart. Three. And these are just basic garlic mashed potatoes. You can buy them in a bag or you can be Betty Crocker and make them yourself. But everybody knows how to make mashed potatoes, so. Okay. And just put the fillets on top. Ooh. Fish is literally falling apart. Okay, it's hot too. Just like that. I know it's not the prettiest, but it is very good. Let me just set this in the sink. Okay. Huh. Oh. Huh. Let me try a bite here. A little fish, a little mashed potato. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, see what you think. It's hot. Yeah, it's a little hot. I'm so stuff. I'm so good. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, we're gonna go finish this off, and uh, I'm gonna hit the bed. Got a six hour trip, 6 a.m. in the morning, so uh, early to shine. We're definitely gonna be uh, wide open tomorrow. But anyway, appreciate all y'all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It'll let you know anytime we upload. We got a lot of stuff coming at you. And uh, hopefully this year, the next snapper y'all see me cooking will be the big red snapper during snapper season. If y'all wanna book, uh, be sure to hit me up on Facebook. You can be feel free to call me at 850-582-0870. And outside of that, all y'all have a blessed day. Appreciate y'all for watching and y'all have a good one. See you.